Hello students, how are you all? Hope all of you are well. Today we are going to discuss class 6 maths exercise 3.2 question number 8. In the previous video I had explained you about exercise 3.2 question number 7. In this video especially we are going to discuss about the prime number. So first of all what is prime number? I just want to ask you or I want to remind you the prime numbers are the number which are specially divisible by 1 and itself. Means they do not have more than 2 factors. Means either they, that number or 1. Except these two, they do not have any factors, so that's why they are called prime numbers. If anybody will ask you what is prime number, then just give a simple answer. A number which is divisible by 1 and itself is called prime number. A number which is divisible by 1 and itself is called prime number. So you can see in this question which of the following numbers are prime. How you will understand that these numbers are prime or not? First of all, remember that number should not come in any table. If it comes in any table, then remember that number has more than two factors. Means it is not a prime number, it is a composite number. If anybody will ask you what is composite number, then you can just say a number which has more than two factors are called composite number. So here there is first question that is 23. Do you know in any of the table 23 comes? I don't think so. So the factors of 23 is 1 and 20. So 1 into 23. So 123 is a 23. There is no other number which can 23 into 1 or 1 into 23 that is 23. So the factors are 1 and itself. So the number which is divisible by 1 and itself is called prime number. So 23 is a 23 is a prime number. What is it? Prime number. Now second question is 51. You know 51? 17 3 is a 51 or 3 17 is a 51. Except that so it is having 1 into 51 also. So more than two factors is having. So 51 is not a prime factor. Is not a prime factor or prime number. Third one is 37. Except 1 and 37, no other factors. So that's why 37 is a prime number. What is 37? 37 is a prime number. Next one is 26. We know very well. 13 to the 26, 1 into 26, there are no. So it is not, 26 is not a prime number. So remember dear students, whenever anybody will ask you what is prime number, you have to just inform them that a number which is divisible by 1 and itself is prime number. If you want to write these answers in your notebook, then you can write. You just have to understand there is no other factor than 1 and itself is called prime number. Now we will move ahead in the question number 9. First of all, take a screenshot or write these answers in your notebook. So you have seen that. What is prime number? Now we are moving towards the next question. Next question, question number 9. Write 7 consecutive composite number less than 100 so that there is no prime number. Means you have to write continuously 7 consecutive composite number which is less than 100. Which is less than 100 and there is no prime number. No prime number. Continuously the number should come. There is no prime number. Question number 1. I have written this. So now you can come to question number 9. Question number 9 is write 7 consecutive composite numbers. 7 consecutive composite number means continuously. 7 composite number which specially has no prime number between them. If we talk about 1 to 10, the composite numbers are between 11 to 20, there are composite number, but there are prime numbers also as for example 11, 30, 70, 90, they are prime number but composite numbers. So there is only one series in which you can say that there is no Prime number in between. Question is write seven consecutive, write seven 
friends q2 composite number friends q2 composite number right seven constitutive composite number less than 100 less than 100 less than 100 so that there is no prime number between so that there is no prime number between them The number is less than 100. So all of you know, just suppose here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, not 100 because less than 100. What you have to do in this number, you have to just find the seven continuously composite number means constitutive means continuously composite number which is less than 100 and there is no prime number between them if we talk about this number then you can see here if we start from 2 also then 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number in this series I don't think so continuously 7 numbers will be there so 11 is a prime number 12 composite 13 prime so in this series also I don't think so in 21 7 3 is a 21 series 7, 3 is a 11, 2 is a 23 is a prime number, right? 29 is a prime number. So it's continuously 7. 31, yes, 31 is a prime number, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 is a prime number. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Till 5 it was continuously, but the 6th one was prime number. So this series will be also not there. In this 41, 42, 43 is a prime number then. This series will be not also working. 47 is also a prime number. Now talk about this. 51 composite, 52 composite, 53 is a prime number. Again composite, 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 prime number. Composite, prime number. So prime number, composite, composite, composite. Composite, composite, prime number. So, not in this series, not in this series. In this series, 13, 7 is 91, right? So, it is a composite number. 92, 46, 2 is 92. 31, 3 is 93. 47, 2 is 94. 19, 5 is 95. 48 to the 96. So just suppose 97 is the prime number or composite number. Shall we tell him? But you just have to find only the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What about the 97? Can you tell me? Oh, we just suppose 
If we take 90, 90 is also composite number, 10, 9 the 90. So now you can see from 90 to 96, right? This is first composite number, this is second composite number, this is third composite number, fourth composite number, fifth composite number, sixth composite number, and so on. So continuously, seven composite numbers. What was the question? Write seven consecutive composite number. Write seven consecutive composite number which is less than, which is less than 100 and there is no prime numbers between them. So from 90 to 99 if we talk, so you can see between 90 to 97. So the answer so that there is no prime number. So what you will write an answer? Between 89 and 97. Between, so you can write as a solution between 89 and 97. There are 7 Consecutive numbers, consecutive composite numbers, consecutive composite number, consecutive, consecutive composite numbers, so that there is no prime number between them. So that there is no prime number between them. No prime number between. So you have find that what are the number? 19, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. These seven numbers. These seven numbers are consecutive composite number. Consecutive composite number. Got it? Consecutive means continuously. So we have find that this question number 9 has just asked us about what are the 7 com consecutive composite number which has no prime number between them and it should be less than 100. So we have seen here. So there is only and only 90 to 96. 90 to 96. You can see it clearly. You can take a screenshot in your notebook. You can take a screenshot in your mobile and after then you can write in your. So this was our question number 9. So now we are moving towards the question number 10. Got it? Now question number 10 is. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of the 3 odd primes. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of the. Question number 10 is Express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. Express each of the following numbers. Express each of the following numbers. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. As the sum of Three odd primes. But it question is you have to express this number as the sum of three odd primes. There are total four questions. First one is 21, 31, 53, and 61. Have you understand the question? What the question wants to say? These are the numbers which should be sum of three prime numbers. 21 should be sum of three prime numbers. So can you tell me what are the three prime numbers whose sum will be 21? 
So just suppose 3 plus 7 plus 11. So 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 11, 21. 3 is also prime number, 7 is also prime number, 11 is also prime number, right? So can you tell me about the 31? Which are the 3 or the prime numbers whose sum is 31? Can we take 5 plus 7? 5 plus 7? 12. 12 plus 19 is equal to 31. See, 7 is also a prime number, 7 is also a prime number, 19 is also a prime number. Tell about the 53, can you tell me what's about the 53? It's very easy if you understand them. Tell me. So can we take this 7 and 9 first of all? 7 and 19, 19 plus 7, 26. 26 plus, can we write 31? 26 plus 31? No. 31 plus, no. can you tell me? 19 plus 31 is equal to 50. 50 plus 350, yes. So 31 can be right here. 9, 31 plus 19. So here we can write 3, right? So can we write here 3? 19 plus 31, 50 and 50 plus 351, right? So 3 is also and prime number 19 also and 31 also. What about the 67? 11 plus 19 plus 30, right? 19 plus 31, tell me, 19 plus 31. 50 plus, no, 17 it should be. 67 is there. So 17 can be right? See, 19 plus 31, 50. 50 plus 17, 67. And the question is about, just suppose, that E is 61, so instead of here, you can write 11 plus 19 plus 30, right? So these all are, what are they? They all are prime numbers, so express each of the following numbers as the sum of the odd numbers. So you have seen here, each and every numbers are prime numbers and the sum is also the numbers, whatever it is. Got it? So this was our question number 10. I hope all of you have understand. If you are still having any doubt, then please your doubt into the comment box section so I can solve your doubt. Rest, I hope all of you like. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.